Greetings of the day. This is Ms. Tabasum. I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty. As you know that we have already started the topic in English grammar that is sentences and in my previous lecture I have discussed about the kinds of sentences based on structure that is simple sentences and compound sentences. Today we are going to study about complex sentences and complex compound sentences. So let's get started. Here it goes. Sentences. Let's recapitulate the previous lesson. A sentence is a group of words arranged in a particular order that makes complete sense. A sentence has two parts, a subject and a predicate. Based on their meaning, sentences can be of four types, assertive, interrogative, exclamatory and imperative sentences. Based on their structure, sentences are categorized into simple, compound, complex and complex compound sentences. A sentence that contains one independent clause with one finite verb and a subject is called a simple sentence. Sentences with two independent clauses joined by coordinating conjunctions are called compound sentences. So let's understand complex sentences. Complex sentences are composed of one independent clause and one or more subordinate clause. Independent clause makes complete thought whereas subordinate clause does not make a complete thought. The independent clause is also known as main clause. It has a subject and a finite verb and makes complete sense by itself. The dependent clause which is also known as subordinate clause has a finite verb and a subject of its own but it cannot make complete sense by itself. It has to depend on the independent clause to complete its meaning. Let's understand them with examples. Vinod likes to read stories which are humorous. Here, Vinod is subject, likes is here, finite verb. So, Vinod likes to read stories. This clause completes sense by itself and thus is independent clause which are humorous is subordinate clause as it cannot make complete sense by itself and has to depend on this sentence to complete its meaning. Rohit loves chips if they are crisp. As I have said that independent clause and subordinate clause they both have a subject and a finite verb. So how to understand that if it is independent clause or subordinate clause. Rohit loves chips. Rohit is here subject. Loves is here finite verb. Rohit loves chips. See this sense is complete and thus this is independent clause. If they are crisp. Here you see they is subject. R is verb. Still this sense is not complete. It cannot make complete sense by itself if they are crisp. And thus, it has to depend on the previous sentence on the independent clause to complete its meaning. Thus, this is subordinate clause. Let's understand with one more example and I have also written the explanation here. If the students agree, we will postpone the celebrations. We will postpone the celebration is the main clause since it expresses complete sense by itself and can stand on its own. If the students agree is the subordinate clause 
since it doesn't make complete sense and therefore cannot stand on its own. Complex sentences. Let's read the definition. Sentences with one independent clause and one or more subordinate clauses are called complex sentences. The clauses are joined by using subordinating conjunctions like as, although, because, when, whereas, unless, or relative pronouns like who, which, whose, whom, and that. Let's understand with examples. They could not start the trek because it was raining heavily. They could not start the trek. This is independent clause. Because it was raining heavily is dependent clause here. And these two clauses are joined by using because. He adopted the puppy which was the runt of the litter. The runt of the litter means smallest and weakest in the group of the puppies. So, in this sentence, he adopted the puppy which was the runt of the litter. Here, he adopted the puppy is independent clause. Which was the runt of the litter? This is dependent clause. Here, which is used for joining one independent clause with the other dependent clause. And thus, this is an example of complex sentence. Here you can see the features of complex sentences. One independent clause and one or more subordinate clause. It is joined by using subordinating conjunctions. That is as, although, because, when, whereas, unless. And it is joined by using relative pronouns like who, which, whose, whom and that. If a complex sentence begins with an independent clause, comma is not used between the clause. If a complex sentence begins with a subordinate clause, comma is used after the dependent clause. Let's understand them with examples. We continued our journey although the weather was not favorable. Here, we continued our journey is independent clause. So, we have not used comma. But if the sentence, complex sentence begins with subordinate clause, comma is used. As you can see that although the weather was not favorable, this is subordinate clause and we have put a comma to join the two sentences we have put here comma, we continued our journey. This is independent clause. Remember that while writing a sentence, if it begins with independent clause, no comma is used. If the sentence begins with subordinate clause, then comma is used after the dependent clause. Complex compound sentences. This is the characteristic. It has two main clauses and one or more subordinate clauses. This is the definition. A sentence that contains two main clauses and one or more subordinate clauses is called a complex compound sentence. Both coordinating and subordinating conjunctions are used to join the clauses. Examples. Even though she was tired, as I have said that it will have two independent clauses with a subordinate clause and it will be joined by either coordinating conjunction or subordinating conjunctions. Even though she was tired, Abby knew she had to finish the rest and she ran to meet her Team. Here, even though she was tired is subordinate clause. Abby knew she had to finish the rest. This is independent clause. There is another more independent clause. That is, she ran to meet her team. 
Usually I take a walk every day. This is independent clause. While the sun sets. This is subordinate clause. But it was raining today is independent clause. Saurav doesn't like cartoons because they are loud. So he doesn't watch them. Here because they are loud is subordinate clause. And Saurav doesn't like cartoon. He doesn't watch them is independent clause. Remember that complex compound sentences has two independent clauses and one subordinate clause and are joined by coordinating or subordinating conjunctions. So let's uh, understand them more clearly with exercise. Identify the sentences as complex or complex compound. Neither Ram nor Sham know how to solve this issue. It's complex sentence. Second, Divya forgot Rhea's birthday, so she sent her a card as soon as she realized it. As you can see here, two independent clauses are there and one subordinate clause. Thus, this is an example of complex compound sentence. Third, although the weather was not favorable, we continued our journey. Complex sentence. Fourth, usually I go for jogging every day as soon as the sun rises, but it was raining today. Complex compound sentence. We can never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourselves. This is complex sentence. And the last sentence is a quote by Dalai Lama. We can never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourselves. Complete the sentences and write what type they are. So the sentences are given in complete sentences in black and the answer is in bold red letter and what type of sentences are in green. You can take the umbrella which is kept behind the door. Complex sentence. Wherever they went, they were mocked by their fans. Complex sentence. Third, I shall recall what you did for me. Complex sentence. Fourth, the pompous man kept on speaking until the others could take any more. Complex sentence. Fifth, she likes to sleep in but she can get up early if she has work. Complex compound sentence. That he is a famous actor was known to the, not known to the waiter. Complex sentence. That he is a famous actor was not known to the waiter. Complex sentence. I hope you clearly understood this complex and complex compound sentences. That's all for the day. I hope the topic was very clearly understood by you. Thank you. Have a good day.